Anishit is a motivated and inquisitive student. I always felt that she's most interested when she's very challenged. Whenever there's a difficult problem or project, a very complex issue or concept, she will pursue it until she cracks it. Um, so the goal of my project is basically to um, create better uh, waste management systems for developing countries. Uh, right now I'm actually focused in particular on a specific village in India, but later on the goal is to actually spread this to other villages around the world with slight modifications. And um, I got the idea for this project actually when I visited the village as a kid. Um, I've been going to the village every year since I was about five years old, and um, it's kind of terrible because you see women walking into the fields early in the morning and late at night to defecate in the open. And I didn't really get that this was an issue, but after doing a little bit more research, I found out that it was really dangerous. And then I kind of thought that like, well, they're so connected to me, like this is my ancestral village, like how can I not help? And everyone's been really supportive, so that helped me start too. So um, actually this project started as a purely social project. Initially, I just saw that this problem was pre prevalent in the villages, and I tried to reach out to like alternate toilet systems companies to install some of these toilets in the village. So originally, I, I reached out to this company called Sold International, located in India, and they were really helpful in um, helping me get toilets installed, and these were really inexpensive and pretty effective. However, um, soon after I installed some of these, it became apparent that as we installed maybe two or three hundred more, there could be a potential issue with um, groundwater contamination. Um, basically, what this means is that uh, a lot of the germs from people's stomachs and intestines are getting into the groundwater. And um, so then I reached out to Dr. Nomova, and Dr. Nomova has been really amazing and helping me. Uh, she pretty much helped me turn this project into a purely social project into a research-based project. And um, she pretty much introduced me to like difficult terminology, um, meeting other professors, and like actually like doing this work. So that was pretty helpful too. So um, presenting at ISOOP was really cool. So this was in Texas, so it was great well, getting to miss school, but also just like going there and seeing what other kids can do. I guess the coolest part of it is just seeing like what kids do. Like, like I'm, I'm really happy with how my project's going, but like just looking at the amount of work that other kids have done is pretty amazing and really inspiring too. And um, just getting to meet all these different people, getting more ideas for the project, that's really fun. It's, um, it's a little bit scary presenting for the judges sometimes, but like just remember that they, they're really interested in your project and all they really want to do is like tell you how you can improve it. So as long as you just take away ideas from that and you try to get inspired, it's really, it's really nice actually. So it was a great experience. Uh, Nisha has a very noble goal. Uh, to develop solutions to improve sanitation, sanitation and sanitation conditions in the rural world. Not just in India, not just in a village where her grandparents lived, but um, her uh, solutions can be uh, extrapolated to many other places. She has a very good and noble goal of improving people's life and I just hope her to get there.